everybody. I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you with part two of our estate sale. That's right. If you haven't caught part one yet, uh, go back and check that out first. And so then the, come back here. Yeah, and they're educational. It's not just like, here's what we bought, everybody. Right. It's like, hey, here's what we bought, and here's why it's good and cool, and maybe you can learn something. And maybe a little something about it as well. We're going to try. We are. Okay. All right. Let's we're go. Just gonna we're, just gonna, we're just going to go. Right back into where we left off. It's uh, a different day. It is a different day. New coffee. New about coffee. to get on an airplane. Right. Um, okay. New new day, new coffee. Same old Eileen Fisher pants. <laughs> <laughs> this is another pair. These are large. These are new. These are silk. New with tags. These are silk Georgette crepe. Okay. There you go. A Georgette is a thicker form of silk. It it, it has a little tooth to it. A oh. Georgette is a cross between a crepe mm -hmm. and yeah. It's a form of crepe, but it feels like suede. It does. It feels we very We talked soft. about this before. Yep. Georgette feels like suede. Soft like butter on one way, and then you go up the other way, and it's a little bit weird feeling. Uh-huh. Is that helpful? Uh, yeah. Okay. I knew these are silk as soon as I touched them. It's this that that silk that you kind of know is silk, right? The right. ones we had in the 90s. Feel smooth. Not a satin. These have a tooth, meaning they have a little bit of texture. Right. He is just flopping around well, over here. I'm just trying. You He's keep getting, This is pull-on. Pull-on <laughs> time. Wide leg. You could call these palazzo pants these days if you wanted to. Okay. People wear them to work. They're comfortable. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Moving right along. I think this is, this is another pair. Same. Same. These are in white. Oh, these aren't pull-on. These are pull not pull-on pants, though. So tell the people what makes a pull-on pant versus a not pull-on pant because they look exactly the same. Well, Except... Okay. These have a zipper <laughs> and a button. It looks like your head is coming out. Hello. <laughs> so pull-on pant is all the way elastic and you, you just pull it on. That's why it's called a pull-on pant. <laughs> You're welcome for this education. You are. These are, uh, these are a size medium and these also feel like silk. What do you think? dun 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 Yes, They've yes. They've been hemmed. Ooh. They have, but it's really easy to take out. It's just like barely hemmed. You know what I mean? A barely hemmed. 100% silk with that kind of a stitch. Yeah. So that's really easy to release. So you have to hem silk like this because you'll see it. This is a based stitch. This, these would, this hem would not have lasted long. In fact, look, it's already coming out. There you go. Uh, these look to be unfinished here. Somebody has taken them up. I bet they're cropped. I mean, you know, hemmed. hemmed. That's the word. <laughs> uh, these are still easy to sell if they've been hemmed. Yeah. We sell them all the time because petite people need petite things. Right. <laughs> and with the way that those are hemmed, like, I mean, if we, we could easily remove it. And say it's unfinished hemmed. Yeah. But yeah. we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that because what if someone's knees in that height? Right. They can remove it themselves if they That's don't. That's right. All right. This is another pair of pull-on pants. Hold on. So cool. when that happens, we measure the al allowance, right? And we say in the title and in the description, with two inches to let out, or, or with yeah, however much we measure, yeah, so that people know they could add that to the inseam. Right. Here's another pair. <laughs> Pull on, but these are silk gray, Georgette. just like the black ones, but gray. No, these are great. These aren't silk Georgette. No, no. Petite oh, medium. yeah, they are. Yeah. They just have a little bit of wash wear. They're they're exactly the same as these. They're not brand new. As they these. Feel Right. They've been... When you wash them, <laughs> silk gets a little crunchy like this. Yeah. It it's does. Not, it's not bad, though. No, 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 but feel the brand new compared. Yeah, yeah. You see? I do. It's missing that, like, all one way, all the other way feeling. <laughs> We're a mess today, y'all. I appreciate you hanging in there with us. We're trying to teach you. We're trying. We're going to work through all these pants first. Oh, my God. We're, we're, we're still on pants. So many pants. Black, pull on, Eileen Fisher. I got some schmutz. Petite large. Again, crepe Georgette. Yep. Uh, so the schmutz on the back of these, let me see this. Like when you ever get little like this, the, the best marks. thing to do yeah. is take the fabric on itself and try to get it out. Because the fabric knows it's fabric, it's buddy friend, and it, it comes out. <laughs> if it's deodorant, this definitely works. Yeah. This is not deodorant. This not is going to need a baby wipe. And then it's going to need to be washed because it's silk. Right. As soon as I get it wet, there's going to be a big spot. Not a stain, just a spot. Okay. 
Let's see. More pants. Are these Eileen Fisher? Are yes. you still with us? Petite large. Another pair of the same. When I told you we were going out for <laughs> Eileen Fisher pants, a week went. We sure did. We found them. Okay. Is this one more? This is a different material. This is a different material. These are petite large. But they're also from Eileen Fisher. Oh, these feel lovely. They it's a Georgia sure as well. Do. These are a little, they feel a little heavier. They feel Georgette-y. Yes, they do. Um, this tag is probably in the leg. Yeah, if you ever can't find the fabric or the care tag on Eileen Fisher pants, they are down in the leg. 100% silk. Look, y'all. What? The hem has been released. It's, been, it's come out? Yeah. Uh-oh. That's okay. Um, I can either hand stitch this back together, or we can take it to a tailor, this or we can too. sell it as is. Yeah, the back on the back of it. It's kind of, it's this is what happens when short people wear pants that are too long for them. Ask me how I know. <laughs> you end up stepping on the back and ripping out the hem. <laughs> hey. You look cute for the first time you wear them. So we'll get these altered, or we will just list as is. Yep. Not a big deal. We used to be afraid to list things that were flawed in any sort of way. We're like, if it's not perfect, we can't list it. And that is not the truth. We got over it real quick. Yeah. All right. This is, what is this? I found one Lululemon. Okay. Lululemon workout athletic top. And I think we paid two bucks for this. Sweet. I would not pay any more for the tops. I would not pay up for these. Yeah. But this should do okay. I got to look up the style. I use Google Lens to look up the Lululemons. A whole bunch of bras. Okay, I went nutso in the bra bin. You sure did. So. <laughs> um, but you got these all for a reason. Yeah, they're a really good brand. This is Wackle, and it is, these all need to be soaked, because they're not, a couple of them are brand new. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I should be able to get 20, 25 for these, because they are a desirable style, and they're a size 36C. I think they almost all are, except I have some Ds in here somewhere. Yeah, there's a couple back here. See, so here's some that are new with tags. Come on in with a tag okay, so I can right. show you. There's this this bin of bras, and this this brand does well. Okay. $42 um, dollars at Macy's, I right, guess. Right, right. Anyway, I like to have little things like that that I can list to fill in our store. Yeah, so there's like, what, 10 or 12 in there, I think? I think there's got? 14. Even better. All right. I, I mean, they were like a buck. So I was just... And then I'll just soak them all <laughs> in retro clean for a couple of days and yeah. get them all nice. Okay. This this has a couple of... This has a little hole. We didn't inspect this one didn't closely enough. It. This is just a, a wool and cashmere and angora. Very nice. Escada. That's uh, why it has a hole in it. The moths were like... Nah, nah, nah. They're like... Oh, delicious. Uh, Escada is a good brand, but the resale value isn't quite what it used to be. That it, That's true. That's true. We still pick it up, though. This is really cool. This is from Moschino Jeans. Yeah, I love cool this. Dress. This is Y2K. It has this, like, spell-out logos everywhere. Futuristic. Those yeah. are all the keywords I'm going to use. I did look this up. There's nothing. There's nothing. No. Wonderful. But it is definitely Y2K. Let me show you guys here. This is what? USA size 8. Oh, uh oh. I think we got it for like five bucks, maybe less. You good? Yep. Moschino jeans is like kind of like Armani exchange. You know, it was like a. Yeah. A, a fashion tier that like younger right. people could wear. And could afford. Maybe afford, right? Better afford. <laughs> All right, more pants. These, these are not Eileen Fisher, I don't believe. No, these are Dolce & Gabbana. D&G, very nice, very nice. I like selling D&G. It does well for us. There you go. Uh, I am by no means a expert on D&G, but the ones, the couple of pieces that we have come across all have this uh, hologram mm -hmm. authenticity uh, tag. Okay, and these are just basic black slacks right women's yep so it says size 48 i would look up a conversion chart mm -hmm. on the interwebs and put the size for us in the title i would not put 48 i would put 48 in the european sizing in the specifics yes and in the description but it very much confuses people if you put an italian or european size it really does you get all the questions yeah. <laughs> and we're like no so uh, we just converted ahead of time you took a little chance on this guy. I love this skirt so much. It has all these it has like, a little hair hole on in it. the back. It has a hole in the back. Tiny little hole in the back. 
I bought it and I knew that. You did, but you you bought it and you it's knew so it. It's so cute and it was four dollars. It's, it's it's Chanel. Guys. What was I supposed to what do? What were you supposed to do? You gotta you gotta take a chance on the Chanel, even with the little tiny hole in it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna try to take it. I, we got an advice of a person that might be able to fix it. <laughs> we did get a recommendation for a really good tailor, so it's worth a shot, right? I actually think I could wear this. Could you wear this? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I love that skirt. Well, you know what? That is one of the perks of being a reseller. <laughs> yeah. You get first choice <laughs> of stuff. All right. So this is a open, just cardigan from Eileen Fisher. It is a petite small. We're gonna call this a long line cardigan. Yes. Open front, because there's no- Slub knit as well. It is a slub knit, there's no- Hey, hey. No buttons. <laughs> That's what makes it an open front cardigan. <laughs> yes. And this feels like a linen blend, I would guess. Let's see if you're right. 56% organic linen and 44% organic cotton. There you go. So the reason I knew this was linen, it feels a little rough. Not yeah. not uncomfortably rough. It's got some texture. Yeah. As but opposed it's still to soft, a cotton. It's yeah. A soft, very soft. If it was just cotton, it would feel much more plush or cozy, I guess. Okay. I'm trying to use words that help. Hey, look at this. The old a little jumpsuit. <laughs> from a track Eileen, suit. Eileen Fisher tracksuit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, I don't think we've ever sold one of these before. No, we haven't. This is 90% organic cotton and 10% lycra for some stretch. Oh, man. I'm about to go to the airport, and this is a petite small. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to that Coastal Grandma. Uh, yeah, man. So these neutral colors right now are called Coastal Grandma, and if you wear them with, like, beach hat and white scarf it and everything. It is super on trend at the moment. I might go to the airport as a Coastal Grandma. I think you should. I think you should do it. Uh, this fabric <laughs> feels like a t-shirt. It's stretchy. It's called a jersey knit. Jersey knit. Yep. All right. Going back up here. This is lovely. This is a two piece. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, two piece, same situation, but it's 100% cashmere. How many from holes will it have? Neiman Marcus in a size small. We tried to check for holes at the estate sale, but you know how that we goes. Let's, let's just kind of. Cashmere take a look. is famous for holes. You have to hold it up to the light. People are probably yelling at their screen. I see one. Right? There's one. There's two. <laughs> I don't see any of this though. Either. Gosh, I might wear this in this the is, airport. <laughs> I know. This is a size small. We'll just switch it. I know, right? Oh, what look I, at that. This is a. Let me see this. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Yo, what if we rolled up in my cashmere jumpsuit? I mean, that's the only way to travel, right? Mama. Here, you want to try this in? Give me this. <laughs> Welcome to our hall. Oh. Uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. All right, that's sleeves. Uh -oh. oh man! Somebody probably shrunk this, and they were all upset. And I'm like, yes. All right, kiss that goodbye. That's staying out of inventory. Wait, seriously, how much do you think this is? Look at me in this cashmere. It's probably cashmere. very expensive. I probably shouldn't be wearing cashmere when it's 108 outside. No, but oh, look at this. Oh, that's really nice. I like it. <laughs> I like it, and you like it. Neiman Marcus exclusive. No, no. Let me see how big this butt is. Mama got junk in the trunk. Oh wait, are we having a stretchy? Blow up? No, we're good. There's a blowout in the... There's not. It's almost a blowout. Yes. In the crotch. No! Oh, boo. I can Found sew it. this, though. If I am wearing these, I can just sew that. It's That's right in, right. Right in a seam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying on clothes. I'm sorry, y'all. No, no, it's fine. This, Like I said, this is the perk. The perk of being a, a Dan's reseller. Dan's going to keep that... Uh, I might keep this. The this coat awesome from yesterday. Coat. He's going to wear it around the house. I, I love it. You want to see my, my, my coat? I love it. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Look at this thing. He, you showed it yesterday. He I was did. wearing it. I was wearing He wants it. to keep it. I don't know. No, he does. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it all out. The internet will troll you about your Eileen Fisher Totally. Coat. Bring it on, people. <laughs> I'm not scared. All right, this well, is Marley's a not scared. pair... Of white Eileen Fisher jeans, new with tags, and a size 14. These are good. These are wonderful. I don't know if people wear Eileen Fisher jeans, but white, I White, can... straight jeans. Yeah. There you go. New with tags, new right? New tags. You can, especially with white, new with tags is very reassuring. It really is. Sometimes there is stuff wrong with them if it's, you know, yeah. gotten damaged and processed, but I'd always prefer a new with tag white item. Okay, this is another pair of Eileen Fisher. These are washable silk. Stretch crepe. Stretch crepe. Yep. Petite, medium, 
uh, not new with tags. These are the pants that we are known for selling and people come to our calls. It's these. Yeah, these are viscose, nylon, and spandex. When we show you the pants every what's sold video we're like eileen fisher pull on stretch pants it's these it's these these are not like it's not i misspoke they're not silk no. they're, they're washable just washable stretch crate yeah. yeah and that's what makes them so great because they're not silk they last forever they have all these synthetic fibers in them and they hold their shape yeah. the silk pants version of this there is a silk the butt gets stretched out in uh -oh. it and we've had a return for that Uh oh <laughs> <laughs> all right this is a black uh is this velour or velvet? <laughs> is this velvet? What is that? Velvet? I can't. Washable velvet. All right. Uh, this is a shell, as I've been yeah. in, learned. Not a tank top. It's a shell. It's beautiful. Very nice. This is a handkerchief hem. Okay. So when it hangs down at points like this, mm -hmm. and they don't have to be on the side, sometimes they're less okay. like horizontal. Okay. Like maybe here or here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, but when it hangs like this, that's a handkerchief hem. Good to know. All right. What is this guy? Oh, this is very nice. No. Another Eileen Fisher, new with tags, petite, medium. This is a black shaped long jacket, according to the tag. That's what they call it. It's mm -hmm. a crepe again. Yeah. Crepe stretch. So I'm not sure if this has silk in it or not. I will check. You can't really tell the difference. It does not. Viscose, nylon, and lycra. Okay. This would look great with those pull-on pants. Same they're exact material. Same material, yep. same color. Yep. It would be a nice little suit to wear, and you would look put together, but comfy. Yeah, man. Maybe I should wear that to the airport. Maybe. <laughs> it's a pretty medium. I don't think that's going to work. No. Okay. This. Oh, more Eileen Fisher petites. New with tags. Crinkle. It's a crinkle. It's a crinkle. Uh, yep. Long shell crinkle. So, so this is a silk fiber, 95% mixed with 5% spandex. Ooh. And that's what gives it this... Look at that. Bit. It stretches kind of like a leotard. Okay. okay. Really, really comfy fit. Um, this crinkle, what happens is when you wash it, because it's silk, yeah. it's going to flatten out. So they recommend on the tie or, yeah, on yes, the tie they here, show you how to do it. You wet it and then you twist it to let it dry to keep the crinkle. Uh -huh. Yeah, hand Some, wash, twist tightly to squeeze out excess water, untwist and air dry. Yeah. Sometimes the crinkle, like in uh, Frank and Eileen shirts, sometimes it's, it's there synthetically. It's kind of like a, a like cellulose Preston. fiber and it's just yeah. like, you know... You can't steam it out, but this I think you probably could if you were to try it. <laughs> All right. This is cool. You found this just kind of chilling. This Love is this. vintage Givenchy Sport. It's from the 70s, y'all. It is very vintage. Bring that tag in. I think it's really cool. Yeah, the old school tag. Yeah. yeah. So I have already drafted these if you're wondering why there's tickets on them, but we haven't listed them yet. So I looked this up, the Givenchy Sport, and it is from the 70s and 80s. This one is particularly 70s because show them the hem. Oh, it's got the, the string, the pull string? It's a, it's a drawstring. Draw <laughs> I don't know why I'm... <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. got a drawstring at the bottom, super cool detail, and this knit is really, really luxe feeling. Yeah, it is. There's a couple snags, but not much. Are there? Yeah, on the mm -hmm. front. Okay. It's not bad at all, though. I think someone would really enjoy this. And I'm also going to put um, costume, props, TV, film, all those things are. in the description because it's a period piece. Yes. Okay. This is nice. This came from a different estate sale, I believe, right? I mean, this is a combination of four, so. Right. But not. it wasn't the Eileen Fisher house. Oh, God. Okay, this is uh, from All Saints. Yes. It's a maxi dress yeah. and it has the style and all saints is really easy to look up that's why i love selling this brand this is an english brand and it's a little bit edgy mm -hmm. so i don't know where it is but it's on here somewhere <laughs> oh the riviera dress there we go and this is a jersey so again a jersey if you cut it at the end like this if it's not finished it, it, roll. it rolls yep. You don't have to finish a jersey knit. You don't have to put a serge stitch at the bottom of it. It won't, I mean, it's fraying a little bit, but this is the bottom of a maxi dress, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a pretty solid bet. Mm -hmm. um, this is comfy. Looks cute. Looks very, yeah, very nice. All right. This is really cool, too. This is new with tags from Tibby. Yep. This was outside Whoa. at a garage sale. Look out at, look at outside. That. I did find the style name for this. So this is like, a thing that hangs down past your pants. Shiv Roy would wear, if you watch Succession, oh Shiv Roy would wear this. Totally. I bet she's worn it. It comes in white as well, which she definitely would have worn. <laughs> and 
It's really cool. It is really cool. I did find a stock photo to kind of help tell the story a little bit. Yeah, I you, don't. You need it. <laughs> love using stock photos, but once this goes on a flat lay or something, it's we're not. It's gonna not going to translate yeah. at all. Yeah. It's cool though. That's I like very, the brand TV. Cool. Uh, some things do better than others. I think this should go. I don't know, sixty or seventy bucks. Nice. Uh, I saw you looking this up on your computer and was shocked by the comps. <laughs> Why? Because I, ooh, I didn't realize this was so expensive. This is uh, Isabel Marant, right? Yep. Etoile. This is Etoile. That's the line of this, which is a lower, I believe, a lower end line, but still pretty great. Uh, this is an Indian style uh, silk, 100% silk top. Yep. And um, very nice. It is really nice. It has fabric cover buttons all the way down, which give it a really high end look. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully we get some good money for it. What's this thing worth about? That one, I don't know. I think I have it listed for about eighty. Oh really? Some it's a toi. That's why Isabel okay. Morant on her on her own uh -huh. is more in the three, four, five hundred dollar range. I see. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? New with tags. New with tags. Yep. Sequin. Eileen Fisher. Antique sequin silk. There you go. Eileen Fisher petite medium, double V neck shell. There Beautiful. you go. The inside fabric is silk, so it's like. Oh, it's lined with silk yeah, on the inside. Yeah, oh, it's so oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. It's all. It's just a really nice shirt. It's got two yep. layers. It, it drapes really beautifully. I don't know how we're gonna steam that big wrinkle out of it. Oh, this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have It'll to figure be that just out. Fine. It'll be just fine. I'm hoping that sells for the holidays. Yeah, that's a cool piece. So is this? Yes. This is a double D ranch uh, vest. With some applique. Yep. And then on the back, this it has is a, a horse. Light, slightly yeah. older tag, I believe. Yeah, Double D Ranch Wear. Yep. Says. This is the back. Nice. Really cool. Really unique. There's a big dog hair on the back of that. Yeah. But... Yeah. <laughs> right here? No, the oh, you're the big Ooh, one. Got it. <laughs> okay. Somebody had dogs. All right. This is another sequin uh, shell. That is but a dress, man. Dress. I, I, didn't, I just grabbed it. I'm starting to talk. This is from Intimately Free People. It's an extra small. To be fair, slip, it's slip dress. barely a dress. Barely. Disco ball, baby. Woo! It's very shiny. I know. It's going to be fun to photograph. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. This is a silk Eileen Fisher. Blazer. Uh, very light jacket. Jacket. This is cool. It has a built-in magnetic button. Oh, it's magnetic. Yeah, that's what this is that's called. Cool. Concealed magnets. Okay. And that helps the top stay shut. This is like a Hillary Clinton right here. Oh, it totally is. Right? Yep. Yep. Totally. And this is a ribbed silk. And these are, it's similar to a crinkle fabric. It's pressed in before mm -hmm. it is, if you got this thing wet, I think these crinkles would just not have a fun time. Really? Because they're not sewn in pleats. Ah. And that's the difference. The, this is a texture of the actual fabric that was here. Yeah. Like you can pull it apart. But it's really beautiful. It is. It lays wonderfully. It has pockets. These are Excellent. all the things I want to talk about in the listing. Coastal Grandma, this is it. For sure. Now, I'm not going to put that in the title because, like, what if there's an actual Coastal Grandma who's <laughs> like, who are you calling Coastal Grandma? <laughs> what you? What you mean? But I will put it in the keywords, especially when I list it on Poshmark and Mercari. Yeah. All right. This is from our friend Johnny Was. Well, let's show him the tag because they might not recognize the tag. Right. I didn't either. It, it's, uh, I don't know if this is older or what, but this is a red tag that just says JWLA. Johnny Was Los Angeles. Right. It took me a second to figure that out. I saw the tag and then I looked at the garment and saw all the, the embroidery and everything. And I was like, I, what do I know that's J? <laughs> Got it. Johnny Was. <laughs> Snag. Yoink, yoink. And there's a, two of these. Right? That's a jersey dress. So there's one. It's a shift dress. It is, because there is no waist. Right. So, for example, if there was some sort of elastic here or anything here that defined the top from the bottom, it would be a sheath dress. Right. Or some other kind of A-line dress. Um, but this is a shift dress because there are no seams. It's no just seams. It's just the front and the back yep. and the sleeves. Okay, so there's Johnny Ward's piece number one. And it's a one. jersey knit. This isn't worth quite as much because it's lower quality fabric. Yeah. And this is number two. I love this one. Now, this is not a shift dress because there is a waistline right yes. here. 
And Isn't this that cool? is love. It says love. Yeah. It's two birds, love birds. That's what I called it. In oh, the there you go. I would call same, this same tag, the red JWR. Yeah. I would call this a fit and flare because it comes in at your waist. The elastics here is a little bit, a little bit old. <laughs> but ideally, this comes in at your waist and then flares out at the bottom. Ha! Yeah. I get it. It's a flattering fit. Okay, we got two pieces to left. This is an Eileen Fisher organic, what, linen? Yep, totally linen. Tank top? Um, yep, 100% organic linen tank okay, top. Okay, and also a slub knit, and you can tell by, when you hold up, when you hold it up to the light, you can see these different colors and thicknesses, right? Yeah. The, yeah. So. A slub yarn has, um... Variation. That's variation. Some of it's, like, fluffier than others. Mm -hmm. It looks... <laughs> It makes it for a casual look. Yes. So you would wear this on vacation, at the beach. It just, I don't know. It's really popular right now. Yeah. This was paired with that other sweater, but they don't go together. Oh, They're not one? the same color. They're not. Not the same color. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> so we bought it as a two-piece set, but then I had to separate them because they weren't the same color or material. And I was like, mm. Can't have that. <laughs> okay. And then last piece is, of course, another Eileen Fisher. This is new with tags, merino cashmere luxe. Uh, what would you call this? A long cardigan? Long or? line? I would say that it was a cardigan. It okay. has these pockets are faux, so you could say that they're not real. Not they real. They're not. Oh. Oh well, maybe. Well, yeah, yeah. They're, they're just, just sewn still, shut. They're just still stitched shut. Gosh, they were so closely stitched. It felt like yep. they were just tacked on. Okay, this is a shawl collar. Mm-hmm. And it because it looks like you're wearing a shawl. Right. Built in. <laughs> Built in. And yeah, a long line cardigan. This is this was really trendy like two or three years ago. People were wearing these with leggings and tall riding boots. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine it'll come back. Yeah, it's a merino wool cashmere blend. Very nice, nice piece. Very nice. nice piece. All right. And what about these? You didn't show. Oh, I didn't show these. And th these. Okay. We have two, a couple of like hard, hard goods. Yeah. Amy found a couple of these Remember in these? the bathroom. These are. S Factor from TG Smoothing Lusterizer. Do you guys remember when I sold like 10 of these for... 100 bucks a piece? Mm, something like that. It was like 80 to 100 yep. of these. So we got two more. I got to clean them up. Oh, oh. I mean, they're kind of dirty. A little bit, a little bit. And then I found this really cool pair of uh, Eddie Van Halen 5150 shoes. What? Check those out. Aren't those cool? So you got to clean those, yeah. Converse uh, Chuck Taylor style. But they have the... Uh, Van Halen. Guitar. Oh, they're not real Chucks. No, no, these are uh, Eddie Van Halen branded shoes. Okay, first of all, I never would have looked at these <laughs> in yeah. a million years, <laughs> and nothing about that says Van Halen to me. But what it should, it should screw this like this design right here. It's it, the, the, the design on his guitar. Anybody that knows anything about Van Halen sh would recognize that instantly. Okay. I guess I don't know. Uh, Van Halen stuff is going really well on eBay now since his passing. Yep. So look for it. Because yeah. these are worth like 100 to $150. Yeah, once I get them all cleaned up, they should they should go for right around there. And if you happen to find the very rare yellow and black colorway, they're worth like 300 or more. What? Yeah. That's awesome. That's pretty great. Okay, so that is our haul. We yeah. went to four estate sales. I think it was four. I think it was. One of them was, I think it was five, but one of them was a bust. Yep. <laughs> we went to four, and uh, you can tell some of it's large, some of it's medium, some of it's petite, that it was different people, but it's really nice to have a volume of things we know how to sell again, and For we're happy sure. to have that. Yeah. And as soon as this goes down, I think this should take us just about a week to list. We've already listed many items. Mm -hmm. We'll go back and do it all over again. Yes. So stay tuned and see if we can repeat this. N not this weekend, but maybe next weekend. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for hanging, guys. We'll see you next one. Bye. Bye.